welcome to the third video in our fashion series for fall and winter fashion for 2021. I do want to apologize. I do have a little bit of a scratchy voice today. Hopefully I'm not losing my voice, but it's kind of going in and out. So, and I think I have allergies because my eyes are, are kind of also watering. So, um, this video I'm changing up kind of the, cause it just made more sense changing up the flow of what we do in this third video. Now, if you did not see the first two videos, the playlist will be down below. Uh, there is like a little arrow at the top of the description box next to the title, and you just click that arrow and it will pull the description box up and you'll see the playlist and you'll be able to go back and watch the other two videos that we already completed in this series for the trends for um, the fall and winter 2021 season. This video, excuse me, this video, however, is going to be all about the Pantone colors of the year. And sort of, we're gonna learn a little bit about how they select the colors and what the colors and trends for this year mean and why they selected them. And then I'm gonna show you all of the different Pantone colors this year. And I may have some color coordinated like matching outfits that I put up on the screen if I have time they will be from Walmart and all of those outfits will be linked below for you for ease of shopping so you can just go click the link and it will be there I will also have my magic magic link um, video link which has every video that I have done and you can go and look at any of the clothing items in any of those videos and find past links as well as current links for um, outfits that you may have seen me do in the past. So uh, getting on with that, let's talk about the Pantone Institute and how they come up with the colors and all that fun stuff. So I took some notes and I'm gonna be looking at that to provide to you. I had to do a little research on this. So the um, Pantone Institute has been picking the colors for each season for 20 years now. In fact, they already have the Pantone colors for spring and summer for 2022. I took a look at those. We will do a separate video as we get into the heart of winter, probably in January. We'll do the Pantone colors for spring and summer because I feel like in the dead of January, we are so gonna be ready for spring. So I'll show you guys those then. So um, they have been influenced, the, the Pantone Institute has been influencing both product development and purchasing, de purchasing decisions for 20 years. Whether you love color or you love neutral, I think you'll find that this year's color palette has something for everyone. I'm actually really pleased with the colors for the fall season, really, really loving them. And <clears throat> you'll have seen these on the runway, you'll see these on cars. So the Pantone Institute does influence the colors of the cars that are coming out for the season. So I thought that was interesting as well. I can imagine some of these colors in cars. I don't think we're gonna get all of them, but for sure some of them. Um, you'll also see these in home decor, packaging, and graphic design. So each year, trend analysis is done by the Pantone color experts. They comb the world looking for new color influences, and then they put together a Pantone color list that designers then use to create this year's fashion trends. So the theme was sort of illuminating and stability, or, or um, yeah, illuminating and stability was the theme. And they said a marriage of color conveying a message of strength and hopefulness that is both enduring and uplifting. I think they looked at what's been going on with the past 18, 19 months with COVID and they felt like we needed some tried and true staples that gave us sort of that stability, but we also needed some bright, fun colors this year to give us some hope, vitality, optimism. optimism. So I thought that was warm. It said warming and optimism, optimistic and enduring and uplifting. So. And it said that these things are essential to lifting the human spirit. So I loved that. I sort of loved what they did this year in deciding which colors would be the, the it colors So uh, for this year. So the Institute is actually, the Pantone Color Institute is actually the business unit with Pantone that highlights the top seasonal runway colors. I also found a eyeshadow palette that I think was actually inspired by the Pantone Colors of the Year for the fall winter season. <clears throat> I ordered it. It will be here when I get it. I will show that to you guys in an upcoming video. And we're gonna take a look and see just how many of those eyeshadow colors are influenced by the Pantone 
colorless this year. So that'll be a fun thing to do. I would have loved to have put this in this video and shown you swatches of how it's influenced the makeup colors, but it, it's not here yet. So we have to do that separate. All right, so they select the color of the year. They forecast, uh, forecast global color and they advise companies on color for product and brand visibility. Uh, through the trend forecast, psychology and color consulting, they leverage the power, the psychology, and the emotion of color in their design strategy. Again, it's fascinating to me. I feel like it would be so fun to work at the Pantone Color of the Year and know that the colors that you select can <clears throat> lift people up, bring people down, that they're going to influence the colors of our vehicles, the colors that we put in our home, you know, the colors that we wear um, every day on, it, well, well, on our clothing. So just such a neat thing. <clears throat> All right. I am going to, because my voice is going, I'm drinking tea, but it doesn't matter. It's, it's on its way out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a color up on the... Um, side here and I'm going to tell you the description that they have given to these colors. All of these colors are the it colors for the year for the fall and winter season. I am not including colors like the pretty lilac shades that were in our spring and summer collections for Pantone. I am focusing just on the fall winter colors. So lilac is still in and you can still carry that in through the fall and winter, but I'm just really focusing on the new colors for the season. Okay. The first color is called Mykonos Blue. And it says it's a brisk blue, evocative of the Aegean Sea. Beautiful color. The next color is one of the, um, was part of the theme. There were two colors they picked for the theme for this year. And this one is Illuminating, which is this beautiful yellow. It's the color of the year. It's friendly, joyful, and optimistic yellow, offering the promise of a sunny day. And, you know, you realize yellow, yellow, I, I, I know I had yellow tulips this year in the spring and they made me so happy and I needed that. I needed that after the year that we had been through hoping and being optimistic that this year would be better. Unfortunately, it hasn't been. Um, but yellow definitely to me is like the rebirth, new life, spring, fresh, new and optimistic. I get all of that from this yellow. And that was one of the two colors of the year. Then we have <clears throat> Leprechaun, a wondrous green hue emblematic of the mythical imps featured in Irish folklore. Love that. I've actually recently gotten into wearing more green. I have that beautiful green sort of fit and flare dress that's going to be perfect. I can throw over the top of it maybe a, um, a cream sweater, tights and booties, and I've got a fall outfit for a spring top that our spring dress that I'm carrying over. I am gonna do in the next video using some of the Pantone colors of the year, put together some fall outfits and see how many of the colors of the Pantone colors I have. So that'll be in our next number four video. All right, then we have number four, Fuchsia Fedora. Love this color. This is one of my favorite colors. Vivid Fuchsia Fedora is a flirtatious bold pink and uh, is a flirtatious bold and pink with an allure. Um, I actually have a blazer, I think, and a fuchsia. So we'll have to find a way to incorporate that, that into a fall look. Number five, I love this color more than anything, and I am so glad that it is part of this. And it is a, it's becoming a neutral. It's becoming a neutral. Pale rosette. And this is <clears throat> an endearing and gen gentle romantic pink. What a pretty color. I wear this all the time. It is so soft and I can see this like pale pinks and white for the winter. Won't that be beautiful? I think those that's gonna be beautiful or the pink and gray. So, so pretty. I'm going to take a pause and get my drink and I'll be right back. Oh my God, I just videoed, I thought I was videoing five different color shades. No, I wasn't videoing, so we're gonna start it over. Um, and I just grabbed this drink it's helping me it's an energy drink it's got loads of like vitamin b6 and vitamin b12s i showed it before in one of my vlogs it's an alani energy drink this one's in mimosa um i swear i don't feel bad guys it's just i have allergies but just in case i took a bunch of vitamin d pills and i'm taking vitamin d because the baby i had the baby overnight last week and he was sick so just in case i'm getting something from him I'm drinking my vitamins. However, I don't feel bad. So, all right, we just finished Pale Rosette. The beautiful, beautiful pale pink. 
Now, number six is a neutral, and it's a neutral I, I have quite a bit of, and I'm seeing it all over in all of a fashion. Every box I get sending me the shade, and I love it. It is called Adobe, and it's a warm and supportive sun-dried clay. I think this is a great color. A, it's a neutral, and it goes with everything, and it really pulls in that fall vibe, I feel like. And I feel like you're gonna be able to take this into the winter for sure, but really the bulk of your wearing of this color, I feel like is gonna be in these beautiful fall season. It, it reminds me of like the colors of the leaves changing colors. And this is sort of that rusty gray, uh, rusty clay brown, um, earthy tone, beautiful, beautiful color. And you'll see, I have several outfits that I'll show you wearing this shade of things that I own. Um, and I'll do that in the next video when I'm showing you what I have in my current closet of the current color scheme. So maybe we'll even pick some things out that I haven't worn in a while that are now back in with the Pantone colors. We'll see. All right, number seven is Fire Whirl. And this is a vigorous red with a dynamic presence. I feel like we all need red in our lives, in our clothing at some, we need a red dress, a red sweater, a red lip, red shoes. But red really is gonna come into play, I feel like more towards the holidays with Christmas. That's when you see a lot of people wearing red. But I always think it, red's a power color and I just feel like women look so great wearing red. And if this particular shade of red is not your ideal shade, I'm sure you can find a red that works with you. Some people prefer more of an orangey red. I like more of the blue tone reds, um, the traditional reds I like. So. Um, it'll be it'll be fun to see all the red outfits or how people are incorporating this beautiful red shade into their wardrobe this season. Number eight, I'll try to say this right. Rondonite, Rondonite, I don't know. Um, but this is a balancing blue-based purple that aids in achieving one's highest potential. Um, this is a shade I don't think I own in my anywhere in my closet. I don't think I would purchase this either. This isn't my favorite color. Um, it's in here. I think the blue and the purple lovers are gonna love this, but it just isn't a color that I wear. I don't know that I'm fully opposed to wearing it, but I don't think I'm gonna spend my money to purchase something in this color. Let me know what you think about this shade. All right, number eight. This shade I really do like. This is called Spring Lake, and it's a quiet, restful, mid-tone blue. I actually think that I have a blouse in this shade, and I know I used to have a, um, a cardigan, but I don't know if I still have the cardigan because that was kind of getting old. I might have decluttered that, um, but I know I at least have a, a, at least a blouse, maybe two blouses that incorporate this shade. So we will show that when I show you guys my outfits that I have using the Pantone colors that I already own in my closet. We're going to see how many I actually own of this year's. Pantone colors. So that'll be the next video. Number 10, another fun one. I know I have this in a pair of slacks. This is the color Root Fear. This is an herbal brown tone symbolic of the root bark of the sassafras tree. Um, this is just a fun neutral color. Again, who can't wear a brown? I mean, brown goes with everything. So, this, and this is you know, like your traditional brown. It's like where the adobe is more of that, has a little bit more of like a cinnamony clay shade. This definitely is more of a a, a regular brown shade and um, I just feel like with there's so many shoes and boots and stuff in this color there you're gonna find that this color is incorporated into slacks like I have or um, sweaters um, outside like blazers you're gonna see so this will be a fun one and it's a neutral that'll be able to you'll be able to wear this it'll be a classic for years and years and years so I think purchasing some things in this root beer shade I don't I don't think you can go wrong I think you'll use them long after the Pantone colors have changed all right, number 11, I just bought a pair of pants in this shade, and I will show this in the next video, but this is called Coconut Cream. Well, it's either this or the or number 13, so this is number 11. And Coconut Cream is a thick and rich velvety white. So, I love a white, and I love a cream. This is called Coconut Cream, so this is somewhere in between a white and a cream, I think. Um, and I think we're going to see this mainly in sweaters, possibly blazers, um, also maybe boots. I have a pair of boots in the shade and I have several sweaters and I just bought a pair of pants, although the pants might be a number 13. I'm going to tell you that in a minute. All right. Number 12 is actually the other Pantone color of the year. So we have that beautiful illuminating yellow. The other color is ultimate gray. 
And this is a quietly assuring and reliable and it encourages composure. So gray is a great like neutral, but I loved that it said it's reliable. Sometimes you need those reliable shades to pull your closet together. So the browns and, and the gray, totally reliable colors, a cream, a white, again, pink, reliable neutrals. Excellent, but I love this. Gray has been around for always, forever and a day. I think we all own something with gray in it. I know, I think I have cardigans with gray, sweaters. I have booties. Uh, I have I have like pants, like dress pants that are gray. So we're gonna have fun with that. All right, this is the other one that my pants that I purchased may be. So I gotta, I gotta look at, hold both coconut cream and this color up and see which one it really is. Soybean. All right, so soybean is a mild, companionable, blonde beige. That might be more what I have in the pants that I just bought. You guys will help me decide in the next video. But again, another really nice, like, soft neutral. Love it. And then the final one is, there's 14, the final one is called Olive Branch. And this is a tasteful green symbolic of growth. And I love that too, because don't we all need to continue to grow? I have seen the shade in a lot of shoes this season, and I have seen this, I have this in like a cardigan. I've seen it in cardigans and sweaters a lot, and also even in pants. I believe I have a pair of olive colored pants. Um, so again, this is, I would classify this with the creams, the whites, the grays, the pinks, the browns, and more of the neutral. I think this olive is more of a neutral shade. So a lot of really beautiful, beautiful colors. Um, hot pink was not on this list, but that's a that's one that came over from the spring and summer, like lilac. Those are still in for the year. Um, that fuchsia is a little bit of a brighter. The yellow is a brighter. We've got that beautiful bright blue, some really gorgeous colors for the season. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put a few outfits to run across uh, the screen for you to music. And all of these will be outfits that you can find at Walmart and the links will down, be down below. So if there's any colors that you would like to pick up and add to your uh, closet for this fall winter season, I'll have some options for you guys down below and running on the screen. You guys have a wonderful day. I'm gonna rest my voice for about an hour and then I'm gonna to try to do another video so that you guys can have three videos next week. I will see you guys really soon. Don't forget to hit the subscription or the subscribe button if you want to be notified of new and upcoming videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Thanks guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.